Hey, you guys. So thanks for listening in to this episode of Tips with T. On today, you guys, we're going to talk about life insurance and the importance of life insurance policies. I cannot express this enough. I'm running into so, to so many people who do not have life insurance um, on them, on their loved ones. And then when um, a death occur or when life happens, they are in a financial bind because they don't have life insurance in place. All right. So today we're going to talk a little bit about life insurance, the different types, um, and why it is beneficial for you to have life insurance. I am recently a new um, licensed life insurance agent now, and um, I just want to raise awareness about this, like I said, because I'm running into a lot of old and young people who do not have life insurance, and they think they have enough time. And then when things happen, the unexpected happen, um, they find themselves in a financial bond, they find themselves in financial debt. All right. And here on Tips with T, we talk about money. We talk about ways on how to um, set ourselves up to build generational wealth and how to avoid things um, that can cause us to go into debt. All right. So life insurance is a financial contract between an individual, um, the policyholder and an insurance company. So in exchange for a regular premium payment, the insurance company provide a lump sum payment um, known as the death benefit. Um, to designate beneficiaries upon the death of the insured person. The, pur the purpose of life insurance policy is to provide financial protection and to support the policies holders, loved ones in the event of their death. General expenses, you guys, are, can be very expensive, all right? I think the common price for a funeral arrangement right now um, is $10,000. I think that's the basic, and that is a lot of money to um, bury somebody or to funeralize somebody. Okay, so life insurance is more than just a policy. It is a cornerstone for financial security for you and your loved ones. Um, in the event of a death, the insurance provides a financial safety net, safety net offering peace of mind during difficult times. Okay, so again, you pay on your life insurance policy in the event that something might happen and you die and you pass away, your family don't have to scrape, scrape up money out of pocket to bury you. Your family don't have to go do GoFundMe pages to bury you, okay? You have that covered, all right? Um, there are two different types of life insurance policies, do two different types of categories. There is term life, term life insurance policies and permanent life insurance policies. All right. So with term life insurance policy, it provides a coverage of a specific term or period. So 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Um, if insured the person dies during the term, the death benefit is paid out to the beneficiary. So your beneficiaries can be your children, can be your, your spouses. Um, it can be um, any, anybody that you will want to be a beneficiary over your um, life insurance policy can be a beneficiary over your life insurance policy. OK. Um. <clears throat> Like I said, your children, um, if you would like to designate somebody to be um, a life insurance beneficiary for your child, for minors, um, and then they and you can set it up that way, you can do so as well. Um, so it all depends on you and your personal purpose and how you want to do it. OK, so permanent life insurance policy provides coverage for the entire life for an insured person. So it includes various subtitles such as whole life policy, universal, universal life insurance and variable life insurance. Um, these type of policies, permanent policies, accumulate cash value over time, which can be withdrawn or borrowed against by the policyholder, depending on the policy type. OK, so the, like I said, there's different types of Permanent policies, there is a whole life policy which accumulate with which which accumulates um cash value. There's universal life universal life insurance, which also can accumulate life um cash value, as well as you can take with certain universal life policies, which is called um, which is a variable life policy. You can actually take some of that policy, that cash value that you're getting, and you can invest that um cash value part. Okay. So Different types of policies, depending on what you want to do with it and how it's going to benefit you and your family, okay? What's your overall objective on how you want to set your family up after you leave from here? Um, life insurance policies can serve as uh, multiple purposes, include income replacement. It can help replace lost income and support the financial needs of dependents after the death of insured. Um, there's other policies, you guys, that you can put in place that for... Say, for instance, if you have a 
um, mortgage, you can put a life insurance policy in place to where if something happens to you, it will pay the remainder balance of your mortgage. That way you don't have to worry about your, that way you don't have to worry about leaving that debt to your children. So there's different types of life insurance policies, okay? Debt repayment. It can be used to pay down outstanding debt, such as mortgage loans or financial obligations. So that's what life insurance policies can be used for. Estate planning. Um, life insurance proceeds can be used to cover estate of taxes and ensure that smooth trans transfer to assets to their heirs, so to your loved ones who you want to inherit your, your um, assets. Um, charitable contributions. Uh, policy holders can designate charities as a beneficiary to make contributions to um, their chosen cause. OK, so like I said, life insurance can serve as different, uh, serve for different forms. You just have to get it set up properly to the way you want it to be set up. OK, um, so some things that you want to consider uh, while when considering life insurance, individuals should assess their financial needs on the amount coverage required and the type of policy that best suits their circumstances. Um, it's advisable to consult with a financial advisor or insurance professional to make informed decisions based upon individual needs and goals. Okay, so like I said, you can use life insurance for a lot of things other than just life insurance. You can use life insurance um, as an investment tool as far as, you know, whether, um, as far as an investment vehicle to build wealth opportunities, um, and potential tax advantages with different type of life insurance policies. Those things are not really discussed, but those things can possibly happen. Again, it can help protect your loved ones. Um, so um, to maintain a standard of living and cover debts and fund future goals, even after you're gone. So even if you say, say for instance, you can actually set a portion aside of your life insurance policy or set up a life insurance policy for your children so if something happens to you, you can start a college fund for them or something like that. And you can make it to where they can't touch it um, until they turn 18 or 25 or whatever. You can set those type of things up, y'all. Um, so utilize life insurance. Start early if you can. Um, the sooner you start getting a life insurance policy, the lower your premiums will be. Your premiums are based upon your age. Um, so if you're very young, I would say for that you need to get a life insurance policy on yourself. And um, you can set up other policies too, but you definitely want to get one on yourself to pay your final expenses. Um, like I said, I'm finding too many people that are walking around here with no life insurance and thinking that it's okay and it's not okay because then you're putting your family in financial buying, financial debt, trying to bury you. And nobody should responsible be responsible for your debt. Um, like I said, it depends on your age, but when you start early, the earlier you start with getting a life insurance policy, the lower your premiums are. Your premium starts to be high once you get older in age. And then you run into a risk of having to do all the different types of health assessments to make sure that you're eligible and approved for certain life insurance policies. Because the older we are, the older we get, the more likely we are we are subject to have health issues. So if you get them done, get a life insurance policy at an early age, some of us can't be omitted from doing a health screening. Okay, so make sure you guys are utilizing this stuff. Make sure you guys are getting life insurance, not just on you, but on your children. Okay, um, if your children have children, advise them to get life insurance policies. Life insurance policies is well, well needed. Um, if you get a big enough policy with a big enough death amount, you can pay your funeral, the, the, your loved ones can pay your funeral arrangements and then they can have um, money left over to pay off any of your debt if you have any debt or to like I said leave generational wealth to your children leave a a, a college fund to your children or just leave something to your children so they can build and continue to grow don't leave here and leave your children in debt okay I have seen it too many times it's not fair for a child or a loved one or a spouse to inherit your debt because you didn't do the proper uh, planning when it came to your final funeral arrangement, when it came to your final arrangements. I know we feel like we have time, um, but we never know the time nor the hour. So always be prepared um, for this. Always make sure that you are prepared. Um, make sure you are, you are trusting the right people when it comes to um, your life insurance policy, who you want to be beneficiaries, because these people will be doing 
as far as your funeral arrangements if you don't have this stuff written and set in stone in the next episode we'll talk more about how you can get the stuff written and set in stone but at the same time you still need to have a life insurance policy i cannot stress this i cannot stress this enough this is very very important um a lot of people are walking around with <laughs> No life insurance policies they're walking around with no health insurance um and it really just saddens me to find to really run realize how people are really walking around here and they're not covered in some type of form but life insurance should be one of the main things that you um get um for yourself and for your children for your families you can also like i didn't mention you can get family policies where you can add on your kids as riders and things of that nature but you have to find a policy that works best for you and your family and for your income if you guys would like to um, contact me and we can talk more in depth about um, life insurance policies and which one will work best for your family give me a call. My number is 910-317-0396. You can also text that number, 910-317-0396. I'm here. I want you guys to be prepared. I want us to be able to build financial wealth and leave financial wealth to our children. Um, it's so essential. And we cannot just leave ourselves um, here and just leave our children or our family in debt. It's not fair to them. Okay. Um, so I love you guys. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Tips with T. Like I said, give me a call if you guys would like to get in contact, get quotes and stuff about life insurance. If I can't help you, I will definitely have a network of people um, to help you because I, I am only licensed in North Carolina and South Carolina. So if you are licensed in other states, I do have agents that are licensed in other states that can help you. All right. So. But if you are in North Carolina, South Carolina, please feel free to reach out to me. All right. And you guys, if you are interested in being a guest on the show of Tips with T, please shoot me an email at contact at mjfinancial.biz. I'll be happy to have you as, as a guest on the show. Talk about your journey. Let's learn about your journey. Let, what can we learn from your journey? How can your journey help someone else that's coming behind you? We love those type of guests. So don't feel free. <laughs> uh, don't hesitate to shoot me an email at contact and mjfinancial.biz. Um, I'll be happy to have you on a guest of Tips with T. So, all right, you guys, um, thank you for listening to this episode of Tips with T, and we will see you on the next episode.